yes, it's the ginger man, and I'm back in Glenrothes. And look, I've made some pals already. I thought we were playing duck, duck, goose, but none of them are moving. Duck, goose. You get the gist. Um, I'm in Glenrothes. I'm back to explore this beautiful town situated in the heart of Fife. So, Glenrothes, show me what you got! Peace! Let us not forget, we honour their loss. I think this is quite a fitting place to start my episode in Glenrothes because it is uh, coming up to Remembrance Sunday um, by the time this episode releases. And aye, it's, it's quite a beautiful tribute actually right here in the centre of Glenrothes, like the standing stones, monuments, you've got benches, and it's such a nice little location to reflect. And if you look over there, that's my pals from the intro. This is such a fitting tribute. There it is, the kingdom shopping centre. There's one thing I've always said is you cannot come to Glenrothes without doing a lap of the Kingdom shopping centre, that's for sure. Now we're going to respect the rules, we cannot film inside the Kingdom shopping centre. We're back at the, the original smash window and I'm going to tell you the truth here, it's not looking good. Because look at this, there's more damage. I think it's just a, an endless torment of abuse to this poor window. This appears to have been picked. Uh, I was I was expecting to come with more optimistic news about the window situation but as you can see no there's more smash windows. Strap on, huge willy, small willy, bum crack and shrooms. There you go. Right. Okay, so we're at the back of the shops. Uh, exploring for the many access areas of the Kingdom Shopping Centre. I mean, this is what makes Glen Office stand out. They have random things like this clock. This is just attached to nothing. And it's really high up in this random bit. Alas, we have a success story. This window is not smashed. I'm sure, if my memory serves me well, I'm sure this was a smashed window. Yeah, I'm sure of it. So yes, yes. thumbs up. You look closely, there's that wee nipple on the horizon of the Lomond Hill. I can proudly say that I climbed it for the sunrise now and what a beautiful experience it was. There we go and I like this bit because if you forget where you are, you're quickly reminded. Hey, so whilst I'm here I'll go say hi to the hippo. Do a 
Here it is, the Kingdom Shopping Centre. I can of just go in and see what's happening. Uh, I do know they've got free Wi-Fi throughout the shopping centre, which is pretty handy. Oh, we've come out with their office halls. So if I remember rightly, last time I was here I bumped into the old gentleman right at the front there who was upset, those doors not being in use. It looks like they're open now. It's another victory for Glen Office today. It's official. The doors are open. <laughs> Must have heard me because it just closed as I said it. And you can see what type of shops we've got in the shopping centre. We've got an Iceland, a JD. Home Bargains, W.H. Smith, Argos. <laughs> there we go, just some people who's giving me the beep, shouting, giving it yes. Love it. <laughs> the lap complete, we're at the, the Raratal in the Kino Cinema. And the Raratal smells like, I can smell onions, I can smell spicy onions today. Look at that face. There is Club 3000 bingo, and there's the Kino together, entertaining the citizens of Glenrothes. Now, I'm back to where I started at the, the shopping centre. It was just a quick lap. I'm back to my car, because I've got lots of areas of Glenrothes that I realised I didn't... Um, I didn't look at or I didn't manage to get round, so today is about catching those areas now. So here I am, right next to Barry Bookkeepings and Payroll Solutions in some um, business estate centre. Now, I was thinking, well, I'll just pop in and see them. But they're really busy probably doing things with numbers and bookkeepings and accountancies, and they don't need a ginger man just turning up whilst they're busy working. So I'm not going to do that. You know, maybe I'll regret that decision, and they'll message me and say, ginger man, why didn't you pop in and see us? And I'll just say, I'm sorry. Maybe I was being a little shy, I don't know, but, or I was distracted by the colourful autumnal trees over here. But what I will do is I'll uh, put up another Barry Bookkeeping advert. I really liked the last one, so um, we've got a different one to put up this time. So aye, enjoy, peace. Are you looking to change your accountant? Are you struggling with keeping your bookkeeping records? Barry Bookkeeping are here to help you and ensure the smooth running of the administrative side of your business. The main services we provide include bookkeeping and accountancy, payroll, self-assessments, auto-enrolments, business startups and CIS subcontractors. We started in 2011 as a company providing payroll and accountancy services to small to medium-sized businesses throughout the UK. Over the years, our ethos and business model has been, and even more so now, to adapt our service to fit what our clients require. Without our dedicated team though, we would not be able to provide the quality of service that we do. Give us a call today to find out more information on how we can help you. Thanks for that Barry bookkeeping. Um, not only are you helping people, with their, their accounts and their bookkeeping, you're helping the ginger man discover splendid, beautiful woodland walks like this. Ah, oh, so beautiful, the trees, right at this moment. It's like autumn is a, just a moment you need to get out and capture it, and on these beautiful sunny days like this, it is the prime time.
just look at this bit. Now I know this is kind of between Glen Office and Leslie, this beautiful viaduct, but every time I was in Leslie or Glen Office so far, someone's commented and saying, you've missed the viaduct, you've missed the viaduct. And out of pure ignorance and not knowing the area that well, I did miss it and I didn't even know it was here. And I didn't even know it's now a footpath to walk across. Just look at this. There's always so much to see everywhere you go. And the more you see, the more you realise there's even more to see. There's endless amounts of things to see. There's a raging river down there, so in the last week we've had so much rainfall, I wasn't able to get out and film. So it's been a couple of weeks since I was actually out filming. Oh wow. Near the water down there. Flexing its muscles. Flexing its slippery muscles. This whole bit round where I'm walking is incredible. It feels like, obviously, with the, the river flowing right through here, a lot of industry happened here. Once I get to the other side of the viaduct, we'll have a wee look and see exactly what went down here and what sort of industry um, was going on in Glen Office and still is going on in Glen Office. A sign it says town center and river something park something kilometers i don't know we remember the fort walks start here though leslie walk i walk through riverside park in the direction of the pond and glen Rothes town center so i i think i'll just take a wee saunter along here because i'm mesmerized by the leaves look at this oh wow tell me that ain't stunning so, before Glen Rothes was developed, the main industries in the area were paper making, coal mining and farming. Local paper manufacturers included the Tullis Russell and Dixon's Mills near Mark Inch in the east and Fetty Kill and Prinlaw's Mills to the west at Leslie, so that's this area. The paper mills established along the banks of the River Leaven which provided energy to power their operations. So yeah, that's the, the river that we just literally walked past. So it's all tying in together. I'm pretty excited about this little walk along here. All we need now is a tree swing, because it's been so long since I felt the, 
the hard wood hurt my bottom as I joyfully swing back and forth. Look at those mushrooms. There's a man in the bushes, I can hear something kicking about thought it was an animal. And then I'll see a man. I hope he's bushcrafting. He's up to something. Anyway. It really is all about just taking time, pausing, um, and just appreciating what is literally around you. Stuff we take for granted, I guess. The abundance of trees, the abundance of green spaces like this. Fresh air, running cold, beautiful water. All of it, we have. We have plenty of it here in Scotland. And it's just so good to roam around freely and enjoy it. I was just reading, interestingly, on point with what I was just saying. Um, in 2008, coinciding with the town's 60th anniversary, Canadian artist and researcher Sylvia Grace Borda chose to holiday for a week in Glenrothes. Of all places, but you know, it's beautiful here. She was curious to explore the town as if she were a late 1960s photographer of common places, following on from a similar study of East Kilbride. The outcome was the production of a series of images which the artist believes contradict how some Scots would see Glenrothes, reinforcing the observation that it often takes a visitor to see what others take for granted. Of course, that's exactly how I see things as well, and I always like to go somewhere and see the beauty within and what it has that maybe when you live somewhere you don't actually see, you take it for granted. Um, the work sought to position itself so the everyday environment can cause the viewer to pause and regard the commonplace as extraordinary. I'm fascinated with this uh, piece of work that she's done, so I'm going to have to have a look at this because it resonates so strongly with what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, watch the space. I'm going to go have a look at this. Sylvia Grace Borda. Hope I'm saying that right. Oh, this is actually on the Fife's Pilgrim Way. Interesting. Who thinks Ginger Man should take on the Fife's Pilgrim Way in the next spring? We can either go up the hill or down this way. Interesting. I'm going to go down the way. Like Glen Rothes literally is a walker's heaven. And I wasn't expecting such a, a long uh, and stunningly beautiful woodland walk here today. I don't know what I was, I was expecting. This walk keeps getting more dramatic and dramatic. This is the bat box walk. Look at this triumphant bridge. It's almost like a space rocket. graffiti up here. Let's go check it out. I don't want to curse myself by saying oh, I've done well not to slip, but I've already done it. There we go. There's a juice worth the squeeze. Yeah, that's good. Some nice stuff here. 
crew, let's get the view. This is a cool spot for looking at the trees. And it's shaded. Because it's quite hot out there with the sun. I gotta get back down here. Uh, this could be dangerous. Well, I keep the GoPro on, mate. I'll put it in my pocket. I don't know what that was that just went over. There's people at the bottom. We'll let them pass in case I fall. Um, I'll feel more pressure. Okay, let's do it. Right, so I'm heading back towards the viaduct and back towards the car and then I'll head to my next location in Glen Rothes. So whilst I make my way back to my car, here's what you enjoy, some drone footage. Ta-da! I am back at the viaduct. I was thinking about this viaduct and where it was. I was thinking, is it Leslie or is it Glen Rothes? Because we really are on the, the borderline. So it's actually called the Leslie Viaduct, as I googled the answer. Um, so I, Leslie Viaduct, 1861 it began uh, and was decommissioned in 1967. Uh, and it was just obviously because I was coming along it thinking this took a train it was just a single track um, masonry viaduct obviously to do with the the mills or the work whatever they are on the side of the river just over there and um, yeah it has 14 arches and is 642 feet long and 80 foot high the engineer was Thomas the engineer was Thomas Bouch. Bouch or Butch, whatever. An absolute cracker though. And that's the path we just walked right along. I'm in my final location. I'm in the Woodside area because there's another part of Glen Rothes that I failed to visit on my first visit. So here I am. There's Savage Kitchen, Purdy's here in Beauty, just in a second Fife. It's got it all. It's even got Sweet Fusion and a pretty unique. What is it? 
I'm not really sure what it is. It's just more Glenrothes funky art. That's what I'm calling it. So more Glenrothes funky art. Look at this street name, Loman View. We know all about the Loman View, that's for sure. Spectacular, but it's Loman View, but I can't see the Lomans. Oh, look at that, they've got a sign telling you all the cycling and walking routes. There us, there us there, the Loman Centre. Look at this, we're in totem pole heaven. Not just one, not two, not three, four totem poles and a quirky little coal miner with a cracking beard. And he's about eight foot tall as well. So he's a big, big guy. Look at his legs. Got a package and all. He's got the whole lot going on. It's just a little sort of nod to the mining heritage around this area. And obviously Glenrothes was an overspill for lots of the mining towns. This is incredible. I feel like each totem pole has something it represents. We've got a date on this, 1945, 2008. I'm not too sure. This one we see 1809 to 2009. There's like trees and it's all about eco and recycling, which is good. The COP26 happening right now. I feel like this is our nature one. This one's all about the fish in the sea. Look at that. Can I, can I deny it? There's loads of different fish on it. Fishy. And this one, I feel, is about the people because there's handprints. There's a bit of mining, there's some mushies, there's a fox, there's a bird, there's a coat of arms, and there's some sort of voodoo man on top. So, that could be anything. I'm just going to take a walk along here, follow the, the line of trees because the colours, again, I keep saying it, but it's just so stunning. It's the season of ginger goodwill. Alright guys, that is an old boy tree. Here we are, the Loman Centre. What actually goes on in the Loman Centre, other than you get changed when you play football. There is a sign, but it's got more of a map on it and advertisement. Well, nothing telling me what the Loman Centre is. I feel like it's just maybe like a community centre. We'll call it a community centre. The Loman Community Centre. In 2011, Historic Scotland completed an assessment of the town art in Glenrothes, which we know there is a lot, ultimately awarding listed status to a number of artworks scattered throughout the town. Hopefully the hippo. Hopefully the hippo, fingers crossed. The organisation also gave positive recognition to Glenrothes' significant role in helping to create an idea of art being key, a key factor in creating a sense of place. That's interesting. We go on, we continue. Glenrothes plays an importance in the history and development of Scotland has been enshrined in the Great Tapestry of Scotland, which unveiled in 2013 in the Scottish Parliament. The Glenrothes panel shows various pieces of the town's public artworks, along with the visual reference to its important industrial heritage associated originally with coal mining and later as a major centre for Silicon Glen Industries. Wow. So again, the importance of Glenrothes in the bigger picture of the world is um, undeniable. It's fantastic. What a place. And even as a new town, it has an incredible and important history. I've got an exciting competition happening, uh, running up to Christmas through December. Um, so if you like gin, um, this one is for you, but that's all I'm saying on that right now. Keep your eyes peeled for that. I also want to say a huge thanks to my patrons and also to the people who 
chuck a wee bit of money my way into my PayPal to get me a coffee on the road. So a wee shout out to, I'll just get the name off my, my, my phone. A wee shout out to Charles Belsey and Victoria Newton who chipped in to get me some coffees, chucked some money my way. Thank you so much guys, it's, it means so much, it really does. Um, so aye, thanks to all the guys who make it possible, because without them this wouldn't have lasted to almost 139 episodes, which is where we're at today. So these guys make it all possible. And aye, if you're interested, you're a business, you want to sponsor some episodes, get in touch. Or if you want to tip me, get me a coffee, or join the Patreon, links are at the bottom in the description below. Anyway, back to Glen Office. There's lots of tunnelled bridges as well in Glen Office along the roundabouts. It really is the, the Fife home of roundabouts. Now looking through the camera, at the end of this tunnel I can just see a bright light. Follow the light, ginger man. Follow the light. Sometimes I just walk, um, not really thinking where I'm going. And I'm like, where am I? Where am I? And I don't know where I am, but I can see a co-op. Tell you what, that's a handy restaurant. I think it's another flyover bridge. So as I come to the sort of end of my day here, and I guess the final time in Glen Rothes, I have one question on my my mind and that has got to be what is my favourite bit of art in Glen Rothes? For me it's probably got to be the dinosaur in the roundabout. I've seen it today and I, ran, I went round the roundabout about three times uh, just enjoying the, the dinosaur. I'm not, I'm not sure how safe it is having the best bit of art in the town in the centre of a roundabout but you know what? It's alright by me. I like the dinosaur. It's different, it's a little bit creepy. Just a little bit creepy. There's some more artwork. So you just keep finding it everywhere you go. Is it artwork? I guess so. It's got the bench there looking over it that says Woodside on it. And that's St Margaret's Church. The building I described as creepy. Creepily beautiful. We'll say creepily beautiful. So I'm in the right area because I'm in Woodside. So my car's somewhere around here. There's the Woodside Inn. Things are getting busy. It's that time of day. name for a tan stand. Shackatan. 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 Well there we go. That's me back at the Woodside Community Centre and I've had an absolutely great day in Glen Rothes. You know the autumnal atmosphere, the colours, the weather, the walks, the nature, everything has just been perfect. 
there's been friendly people, people have interacted with me, it's just been sensational and yeah, all the art, the history, everything about Glenrothes, it's just, it's quite a particularly interesting place as well and it's not like anywhere else in Fife because of its new town status. So yeah, it's uh, definitely worth a visit coming to Glenrothes. Someone just took a picture of me in a car as I was doing this. That's interesting. That's never happened to me before. So hey, new experiences always in Glenrothes. Thanks for having me. Peace. To hear you say